Muller will get the game underway and Hearts quickly trying to seize on that mistake football well and truly out of the deep freeze it's like uh, old times at Tyne Castle marvellous atmosphere Hearts first home game since the 5th of December and a dangerous ball to Tess Sprout and he comes through his baptism easily Addison making his presence felt by Pettigrew upward bounce beat him Clash of heads there between Addison and uh, Tom O'Hara, and the referee brings play to a halt for the trainers immediately to rush on to both players. So Tom O'Hara, recent Motherwell signing, being stretched off after that uh, bad clash of the heads with Derek Addison of Hearts and uh, Addison going off too but he at least is walking wounded so Ian Clinging coming on for Motherwell and the heart substitute will be Brian McNeil and Hearts again pressing forward Burn with Kidd in support going for the line dangerous one Pettigrew playing it back and driven over the top Maranello taking on Wark getting the lay off from Pettigrew good ball two to Shields Hearts playing a lot of verve and style Pettigrew's there off the bar and Bowman following up again fires it wide but really that was the style of Peter Maranello he directed that uh, move, brilliant bit of play, and Pettigrew perhaps deserved a better fate than to crack that one off the bar. Dave Bowen, the son of a former Hearts player and a fine, uh, promising young player. Well, all trying to gain ground, but uh, push back as walks through, clinging. Dangerous cross, Cleland drives in and Smith can't hold it, but it's been chopped off, the linesman is flagging, it certainly looked a good one to me, but the linesman said no, the referee in fact pointing to offside, well, clinging got that ball to the line, the cross hooked out and McClellan was acrobatic. It took Smith by surprise, dropped over the line and it looked a good goal, but the linesman's flag was up and the referee agreed with him. McClellan in the middle. Irvin coming to the near post. Up went Forbes. Staying up with the attack. Ian McLeod. Robertson chasing him and McLeod's persistence paying off. Still trying to go. Hart stumper away with McNeil. Wart now Maranello. Pettigrew it's one against one. He's away past Carson. Sprout. What a fine bit of goalkeeping. Sprout came out of his goal like a rocket and just got that one away as Pettigrew seemed to have a clear run in. Cloud withstood the challenge. Tried to find Gagan. Clinging now in support. Two very tricky players, but uh, Clinging's finish not as good as the promise in the build-up. And the Motherwell fans who have come through to follow the team say they can stretch their unbeaten league run to 19 games. Maranello with a quick one. Dern up with him. A low cut ball. Chris Robertson and a brilliant save from Hughes Brot. The mother will go people excel themselves to deny Chris Robertson the opening goal. A long throw. Dangerous one. And Smith having to dive. The back heeler there almost catching the Hearts uh, keeper napping. A bit of quick thinking by Irvin. 
Pettigrew tries a shot and sprout. What a fantastic save! Pettigrew can't believe it. Hugh Sprout is just having one of those afternoons that all goalkeepers have now and again. He looks unbeatable. Pettigrew got the bounce. He saw Sprout off his line, but Sprout somehow managed to stretch backwards and turn it around the post. Carson up. It's uh, low to clinging. He cuts it in low, teasing one, and Smith, and the goal awarded. The goal awarded. Bruce Cleland, I think, uh, got the touch. The low ball cut in there by clinging. Smith seemed to have it. Cleland was in, and a touch, and it carried over the line. And the referee brings the first half to a close. A marvellous first half. Hughes Sprout really denied Hearts. A uh, fine performance of goalkeeping that uh, prevented Pettigrew from scoring at least twice. And Motherwell snatching that uh, vital goal just before the interval. Hearts battling hard and certainly not out of this one yet. So Hearts get the second half underway. Their target to pull back this uh, one goal deficit that... Uh, they're, they're falling down to at the moment. Hearts really must pick up points to keep in touch with the promotion race. They're currently placed sixth in the league with only one win in their last seven home league games. So win today, vital. That one missed. And Gagan wins a corner very skillfully. First corner of the second half taken quickly, turned in, and the mother will rather unlucky there. Cleland almost uh, got a sort of back healer on that one, was uh, knocked down to him by Irvin, and that certainly must count as a half chance. Hearts, three men in the box waiting for the cross, was deflected. Missed by McClelland, and Sprott there, but Pettigrew is there, and so is Wark, who's the eventual man who gets the touch round the post. Clinging does well to keep that one in, as does Irvin. Rides the challenge, but uh, McClellan was there when needed. And McLeod through, no offside. Gagan at the far post, and Coyne's there with a superb header. Brian Coyne gets Motherwell's 56th goal of the season, 19 minutes into the second half. It was the tenacity of clinging to win that ball and then get it through for Irvin. Irvin looked up, saw two in the middle, measured it for Coyne, and Smith had to pick that one out the back of the net. Hearts trying to keep the pressure on. Brian McNeil, again a knockwood one, and it was Graham Forbes who headed that one to safety. Forbes, real tower of strength for Motherwell this afternoon. Burn with the corner. Knocked away from McDonald by Forbes. McCoy tries again, McDonald still there, and it's pushed into the net by Pettigrew, but it's been disallowed. Pettigrew bitterly disappointed there, but that was a similar decision to the one that Motherwell saw chopped off in the first half. It came across to McCoy, he did the intelligent thing, McDonald helped it on, and Pettigrew certainly pushed it in, but he was just offside. Clan to Bowman. But again, Motherwell just have this grip in midfield. Gagan to Clinging. Clinging going right through in his own here. A fine effort, it looked to be deflected, but it's gone in. Ian Clinging, with a fine solo effort, aided by a deflection, puts Motherwell three goals into the lead.